If you work in healthcare, especially with heart patients, these 15 essential cardiology terms will help you speak clearly and confidently with colleagues and patients. Today, I'll explain each word in simple language and give you natural example phrases that you can use right away in a hospital or clinic setting. Welcome to Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, and here we focus on English you really need for your professional life. This lesson is perfect for nurses, doctors, medical students, and anyone working in healthcare who wants to improve their medical English. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more medical English lessons. If you'd like a full guide for this lesson, it's available to my student members over on the membership tab right now. And it's also available as a one-time download on my YouTube store for just $1.99. The guide includes all the content from today's video, plus a glossary and practice exercise to help you remember the vocabulary. Okay, let's get started with our first term. Cardiac arrest. Repeat after me. Cardiac arrest. So a cardiac arrest is a sudden stop in heart function often causing the patient to collapse and lose consciousness. Let's take a look at our example phrase. The patient went into cardiac arrest and we started CPR immediately. Term number two, arrhythmia. Repeat after me, arrhythmia. This is an irregular heartbeat, too fast, or too slow, or uneven. Our sample phrase is, we need to monitor her arrhythmia overnight with an ECG. Let's move on to our third term, tachycardia. Tachycardia. Tachycardia is a heartbeat that is too fast, usually over 100 beats per minute in adults. Let's check out our phrase. The monitor shows tachycardia. Let's check if the patient is in distress. Our next phrase is the opposite of tachycardia, bradycardia. Bradycardia. And this means a heartbeat that is too slow, usually under 60 beats per minute in adults. His bradycardia could be due to his medication, Call the doctor to review the dose. An important cardiology term is myocardial infarction. Let's hear that one more time. Myocardial infarction. A myocardial infarction is the medical term for a heart attack caused by blocked blood flow to the heart muscle. Let's check out our example phrase. The ECG confirms a myocardial infarction. Prepare the patient for urgent intervention. We're already on term number six, angina. Repeat after me, angina. Angina is chest pain caused by reduced blood flow to the heart. If you feel angina again, Press the call button immediately. Term number seven is heart murmur. Heart murmur. A heart murmur is an unusual sound in the heartbeat, often caused by a valve problem. The doctor detected a heart murmur during your examination. Next up, we have a longer term. Congestive heart failure. Repeat after me. Congestive heart failure. This is a condition where the heart cannot pump blood effectively, leading to fluid buildup. Her swollen ankles are a sign of worsening congestive heart failure. Term number nine is a bit tricky. Atherosclerosis. Let's hear that one more time. Atherosclerosis. This condition is a hardening and narrowing of the arteries due to plaque buildup. 
Let's check out our example sentence. Atherosclerosis increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. We are getting through these terms really fast. Here's term number 10. Palpitations. Palpitations. Palpitations are the feeling that your heart is racing, pounding or skipping beats. Tell me if you experience palpitations during the stress test. Next up is ventricles. Repeat after me. Ventricles. These are the two lower chambers of the heart that pump blood to the body and lungs. Let's check out our example. The left ventricle pumps oxygen-rich blood to the whole body. We also have the atria. Atria. The atria are the two upper chambers of the heart that receive blood from the body and lungs. The atria fill with blood before it moves into the ventricles. Term number 13. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. This is the force of blood pushing against artery walls as the heart pumps. The nurse will check your blood pressure every two hours. Our penultimate term is pulse rate. Repeat after me. Pulse rate. A pulse rate is the number of heartbeats per minute. His pulse rate is 110, which is higher than normal. Our final English medical term for this lesson is electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram. This can also be referred to as an ECG or an EKG. And this, of course, is a test that records the electrical activity of the heart. Let's check out our final example phrase. We'll do an ECG to check for any irregular heart rhythms. And there we have it. Well done. You've just learned 15 essential medical English terms relating to the heart and cardiology. Don't forget, members get access to the exclusive guide to this lesson. It's available right now on the membership tab. If you want to check it out yourself as a one-time purchase, you can pick it up in my YouTube store for just $1.99. If you have any ideas for a lesson, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more medical English from Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, and I'll see you in the next lesson.